Hello. When the dopamine is running low, there's only one way to solve it. And the only way that I can solve that issue is if I go out and buy books, which is what I did. Kmart has been absolutely killing it, bitch, when it comes to romance releases at the moment. I bought a few for myself as like a belated Christmas present and putting myself on a book banding by this year. I am, I am. I'm going to be way more cautious and just aware of how much money I spend on books. Let's go through this big bag of money. Okay, because that's what book buying is. It's wasting money. It's just piles of cash that I'm putting on my bookshelf instead of my savings account. One of my goals this year is to read more paperbacks over ebooks because I constantly buy paperbacks but then don't really read them. I've never been one of those bitches that can just only read paperbacks because there's so much convenience in reading an ebook, having a Kindle, or even reading on the Kindle app. But I really want to make it a goal of mine this year to read as many paperbacks as I possibly can without going and purchasing the ebook as well. Because <laughs> that's what happens. I'll start reading a paperback and then I'll go to bed and I'll be like, hmm, I need the ebook so I can continue on reading the story. And then I'm just spending money on paperbacks and an audible. It's a whole ordeal. Anyway, I really want to read paperbacks this year and I'm stoked with a lot of these books. Let's start off with these two bad boys. I bought Binding 13 and I also bought Keeping 13. These books are so intimidating because they're absolutely fucking massive. Like look how thick these books are. The whole series in general intimidates me because it is very hyped up. So many people love it and usually I don't click with hyped up romances. Uh, also, as I said, fat pages, big books, it'll take me a minute, especially if I'm going to read the paperback. But the reason why I bought this, I don't know if you guys remember me saying that I did actually start Binding 13 or is it Keeping 13? Which one's the first one? I did start Binding 13 a couple of months ago and I was not clicking with a bitch. I was not clicking with it. But there's been a revelation. Is that the right word? Revelation? I think so. So recently I have been able to read at the speed that I used to be able to. Okay, I've been reading all the books that I attempted to read at the beginning of 2023 and failed. And I've been falling in love with the books that I've been reading. So they're all like the hyped books that I missed out on and I thought maybe, you know, they weren't my thing anymore. But all of a sudden, they're my thing again. So <laughs> with that said, I've been reading sports romance, even though I'm not a sports romance girly. And I thought, hey, if I'm liking all the other books I attempted to read and was not successful at, I need to give Binding 13 a chance. Everyone gushes over the Boys of Tommen series. So these are my first two paperbacks I'm showing. I'm so scared. I'm so scared that I'm not going to like them. Um, but everyone was telling me the other day on Instagram I need to read Saving Six and I thought, hey, I've got to start at the beginning if I'm going to get to Saving Six. So here we are. I've also made a pact with myself this year. No pressure whatsoever. I'm not putting any pressure on myself to read or create content. I've been going through this really weird thing at the moment. I feel like my life goals are shifting and changing. Honestly, becoming a mum in 2022 which was almost two years ago. What the fuck? Really changed my life. I definitely think I spent 2023 trying to get back to what life was like pre-baby. Instead of kind of leaning in to motherhood and this new lifestyle I have, I've been trying to just make things work and they haven't been working. I haven't had the desire to be filming that much as what I used to, which has kind of been a weird thing because it's kind of like I'm sad about that, but also when I try and force myself to sit down and film, it's just not clicking. So <laughs> there's no pressure on reading books, posting content, filming YouTube videos. I have my eyes on a prize, baby. I said that I wanted to write a book by my 30th birthday. I'm 29 this year and I want to make it happen. So if I am really flaky with uploading, that is why. I saw this and I was so fucking excited, okay? Because Archer's Voice is one of my favorite books of all time. I love Archer's Voice and I love Mia Sheridan. Everything I've read from her has been A1 baby, A fucking one, like absolutely amazing. So I saw this on the shelf at Kmart, Travis. Now, if you've read Archer's Voice, you would have met Travis in Archer's Voice. And Travis is an asshole and I didn't like him whatsoever in Archer's Voice. So I'm interested to see how 
Mia redeemed him, okay? Because he was a prick of a man to Archer. I also love that this is quite a small book and the cover is really stunning too, okay? It's blue, kind of like Archer's voice, but not. This actually was a gift from my mother-in-law for Christmas and it's The Book Thief, which I've been wanting to read for such a long time. I actually have seen the movie and I loved the movie. You know me, I love a little bit of World War II historical fiction. It's one of my guilty pleasures. I can't read it all the time but if I'm going to read anything outside of a romance or a thriller it's going to be historical fiction so I'm so excited to read this book it's a big baby I don't know if watching the film will ruin my reading experience I hope not I hope the book is better than the film and I can't really remember the film that clearly because it was years ago when I went and saw it at the cinemas so I'm hoping that I like this <laughs> these next two I'm so excited to revisit and own and just have. I've been wanting these paperbacks for so fucking long, like ever since they've come out. But I didn't buy them because I attempted to read these books and didn't continue on with them. I didn't DNF them. I honestly read like the first page and didn't continue on. Now that I'm into, at the moment, I'm going through a phase of sports romance because of Say You Swear. I thought, okay, okay. If Say You Swear became my favorite book of all time, after attempting to read it, and then revisiting it, then maybe the same thing will happen with these two. So I bought Mile High. <laughs> Mile High by Liz Tom Ford and The Right Move. I haven't bought Caught Up yet because I haven't seen it. I'm pretty sure it's on the Kmart website, but I haven't seen it in store just yet. But I'm really excited to give these a go because everyone, every fucking one, loves these. Loves these. And... Though I attempted to read the first page and didn't continue on, that's just not enough evidence for me to DNF it and say I don't like the story. Uh, so I'm intrigued and very excited to read these. They're honestly beautiful. Like, I really love the covers. <sighs> They're going to look so good on the fucking shelf. I've got that much bookshelf space left. And then I'm done, bitch. I need to start the other war. I've been saying it for two fucking years. You'd think I'd get on top of it, but I did become a mum and everything else in my life has just become on the bottom of the priority list. I saw this in Big W the other day and I said, oh my God, you need to come home with me right this second because this is a witchy romance. I did talk about this book a few months ago during spooky season and I said that I wanted to read it and I did end up buying the ebook, but I just never got around to starting the actual story and reading it. And it's The Unfortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic by Brene Randall. Now, I did flick through it and the writing style in this book, the writing style in this book is poetic, magical. Thank fucking God, because it is a witchy book, but it's just perfection, beautifully written, right? Small town, small witchy town, we're dealing with witches, and her first love comes back into her life, comes back into town, and that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know about this book, but I cannot wait to read this eventually. The cover is much more beautiful in person than what it was on the website, because when I looked at the Big W website, it looks kind of plain, but when I saw it in person, it's gold foiling. <laughs> Sorry, I'm flipping you off. If you've read this, let me know your thoughts, feelings, and emotions on this book. People have compared it to Gilmore Girls and Practical Magic. So I love Gilmore Girls, and Practical Magic is one of my favorite movies of all time. I could probably recite the words. Quite honestly, probably could. This year, one of my goals with reading is to definitely put my little foot put my paws, both my feet and my hands, into fantasy. There's a couple of fantasy books that are on my radar that I want to read. Nothing from Sarah J Maas, okay, because I read A Court of Thorns and Roses, I've read that series, I read that back in 2022, and though I loved it and I enjoyed it, I wasn't obsessed with it like everyone else. But this, I bought this. First book here, Once Upon a Broken Heart, a Ballad of Never After, or maybe that one's the first one. I cannot remember which one's the first one. So these two, and then A Curse for True Love. Before we talk about this, I'm so annoyed. Why did they release it like this? Do you see how disgusting that is? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? They're gonna look so abnormal and just weird on the shelf. I don't know why this one, I think it, I think it's because it's the newest one was released giant and these two are tiny. Now, I believe that there's no spice in these and they're like YA, but I saw a TikTok video quite a few months ago saying if you're a beginner with fantasy, fantasy romance, 
these are really good. And one of my friends on Instagram, Kayla, she's obsessed with this series. I've seen her talk about it so much. And I, a lot of the time, enjoy what she reads. So I'm excited. It looks like fairy tale goodness, bitch, without smart. And I'm here for it. I love a good spicy scene, okay? I love to get the feels going. I love reading a fucking book and being like, oh, 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 and you feel it in your kitty cat. All right, I get it, I get it. I love that. But I also don't like too much smart. And sometimes I like no spice at all. So, you know, it just depends on my mood. I really hope I love these. Apparently it's like princess magical vibes. Pink princess magical vibes. Like, hello, I am a pink princess with magical vibes. So that is it for today's video. They're all my fresh new books. Only a small haul, not a ridiculous amount of books. As I said, I really want to cut down on my book purchasing this year. I may be flaky with uploading. You may see me, you may not. I'm just chilling, bitch. As I said, goals on my mind. I'm gunning for them. I really want to write a book. I really want to write a book. Like I really feel it in my soul, my heart and soul that I need change. And I need to do this for myself. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. I just need to really understand if this is what I want, okay? Because filming content has not been filling my cup up. I've been filming booktube videos for four years and I'm feeling a little bit unsatisfied. I'm wanting more, craving more. And I just don't know what my place is going to be at the end of this year in the book community. I still want to be here. I still want to talk about books, but I just don't know. I don't know. Like I'm on like a soul searching journey. Will I become an author? Dunno, you know, it may not work out. It may be trash. I may be like, bitch, what are you fucking doing? Put the fucking pen down. Close the laptop, exit, delete. Don't save that document, bitch. Like, we don't know, we don't know. I'm 29 this year. I'm getting closer to my 30s. It's time for change. And who knows, maybe I'll upload every fucking week. We don't know, we're just gonna chill. No, no pressure. Read as many books as you want. Don't read any books if you don't want to, okay? No pressure with hyped up books. I'm just going to read what I feel, talk about what I feel, when I feel like it, when I feel compelled to be online and public. Okay. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this book haul. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books and I'll see you soon. Hopefully, don't know. <laughs> Bye.